Okay. So now, SO 239 goes down in the hole. And we drill one hole through from the inside. We're going to put a screw in to secure it while we drill the other holes. There we go. I had a piece of plastic obscuring the hole. Now we're only putting one in just to secure it. Move the SO239 if we don't like the position it's in. Wiggle it around a bit to where it's square if you're like me and you have some OCD. And we'll drill the other three holes from the inside. Being careful of the coax. And I don't know why I drilled four holes. We're only using two screws this time. So we'll just put a little extra silicone on there. Get the nuts ready. Let me grab the silicone. Okay, so we have the holes drilled. See, see that's for dinner. Take it out. Put a little silicone around this hole so it's sealed. Not a lot. So we don't want to interfere with anything. There's one, and then I want to do the opposite corner. Ring is over one of the bolts. Flat washer over the ring. Locking nut on the other bolt. Put a little bit of silicone in those two extra holes I made because I was not paying attention. And other than putting the elements on, the antenna is done on the and the. Uh, Waterproof cap. And it's done. Just have to add the elements. So all that's left, so put the base on mast. All that's left is to put the elements on and just like the other antennas, sandwich them between two washers. And this is the set I this is the original set that I made. Spin them down. 
tighten it with a wrench because we don't have the wing nuts. This one's intended to be permanent. Doesn't matter if the short ones go forward or back. Well, the wing nuts were a whole lot easier. And all that's left now is to seal it up with some electrical tape. There's the antenna. Pretty sturdy. It'll move a bit in the wind, but it's not going to go anywhere. Just clamp it to a uh, vent pipe and you're good to go.